Hi, Bethany. Hi, Aubrey. Hi, Caden. I love you guys and I miss you so much. I always do. Did you know that I'm a teacher? I teach other kids. And whenever I think about kids, I always have to think about you too because you guys are just so important to me. Right now, we have to stay at home so that we don't get sick. So I can't teach those kids. One of the things that I'm doing to still be able to talk with them is I'm reading them stories. And since I always think about you guys, whenever I think about any kids, I thought it would be really fun to read you stories too. When we used to live close, I read stories to you all the time, but I don't think that you can remember that. So I'd like to start again and read a story to you. Are you ready? Oh, Maddie is the one who's recording. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> all right, let's read our story. It's called Amelia Bedelia, and I really like this story because it's so funny. You ready? So the story is called Amelia Bedelia. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, your first day of work, and I can't be here. But I made a list for you. You do just what the list says, says Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers got into the car with Mr. Rogers. They drove away. Bye-bye. We don't see them. My, what nice folks. I'm going to be, I'm going to like working here, says Amelia Bedelia. Do you see Amelia Bedelia up here? She works as a cleaning lady. She's a maid and she helps keep the house clean. And it's her very first day, but the bosses aren't there. So she has to follow a list. Do you see she's holding this long list in her hand and she's got a smile on her face. She's excited about her new job. Amelia Bedelia went inside. Such a grand house. These must be rich folks, but I must get to work. Here I stand just looking, and me with a whole list of things to do. Amelia Bedelia stood there a minute longer. I think I'll make a surprise for them. I'll make lemon meringue pie. I do make good pies. So Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. She put a little of this and a pinch of that into a bowl. She mixed and she rolled, and soon her pie was ready to go into the oven. There, said Amelia Bedelia, that's done. Now, let's see what the list says. Amelia Bedelia read, change the towels in the green bathroom. So what is she supposed to do? Change the towels in the bathroom. Amelia Bedelia found the green bathroom. These towels are, those towels are very nice. Why change them, she thought. Then Amelia Bedelia remembered what Mrs. Rogers had said. She must do what the list told her. Well, all right, she said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia got some scissors. She snipped a little here and a little there, and she changed those towels. Uh-oh, do you think that's what they meant by change the towels? To cut them up with holes? Who wants a towel that has holes in them? Amelia Bedelia did not understand. There, said Amelia Bedelia. She looked at the list again. Dust the furniture. Do you know what it means to dust the furniture? Normally, it means that we take a towel and we wipe all of the dust off. Let's find out what Amelia Bedelia thinks it means. Did you ever hear tell of such a silly thing? At my house, we undust the furniture, but to each his own way. Amelia Bedelia took one last look at the bathroom. She saw a big box with the words dusting powder. That's a uh, makeup that a woman would put on her face. Well, look at that, a special powder to dust with, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia dusted the furniture. That should be dusty enough. My, how nice it smells. Look at what she's doing. She's sprinkling everything with makeup that's supposed to go on the face. She is so funny. I wonder how they're going to feel when they come home. They have holy towels and makeup all over their furniture. <clears throat> do 
draw the drapes when the sun comes in, read Amelia Bedelia. When we draw the drapes, it means that we pull, oh no, maybe we close them when you draw the drapes. I actually don't know if we're supposed to open them or close them. It's, it's close them so that the sun doesn't bleach the furniture. Oh, Max says to draw the drapes is to close it when the sun comes in so that the sun doesn't hurt the furniture. I bet he's right. <laughs> but Amelia Bedelia doesn't have Max to help her. So she looked up. The sun was coming in. Amelia Bedelia looked at the list again. Draw the drapes? That's what it says. I'm not much of a hand at drawing, but I'll try. So what do you think she did? Amelia Bedelia sat right down and she drew those drapes. Am Amelia Bedelia marked off about the drapes. Now what? You ready for the next assignment? Put the lights out when you finish in the living room. When you put the lights out, what should you do? Turn them off, right? Amelia Bedelia thought about this a minute. She switched off the lights, and then she carefully unscrewed each bulb. And Amelia De Bedelia put the lights out. Look at what she did. She put them outside, hanging out to dry. They're not even wet. Just like pillow. Oh, so those things need to be aired out too. Just like pillows and babies. Oh, I do have a lot to learn. Do we ever need to hang our light bulbs out to dry? So silly. Now they don't have lights in the room. <gasps> My pie! exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. She hurried to the kitchen. Ah, oh, just right, she said. She took the pie out of the oven and put it on the table to cool. She looked at the list. The meat market will deliver a steak and a chicken. Please trim the fat before you put the steak in the icebox. And please dress the chicken. Oh no, what do you think she thinks that means? When we trim the fat, that means we take a knife and we cut the fat right off. And when we dress a chicken, it means that we put seasoning on it, like salt and pepper. Let's find out what Amelia thinks. When the meat arrived, Amelia Bedelia opened the bag. She looked at the steak for a long time. Yes, she said, that will do nicely. Amelia Bedelia got some lace and bits of ribbon. Look at what she has. And Amelia Bedelia trimmed that fat before she put the steak in the ice box. She trimmed it like we trim a Christmas tree, which means decorate. She didn't cut the fat off, she decorated the fat with ribbons. Oh, now I must dress the chicken. I wonder if she wants a he chicken or a she chicken, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia went right to work. Soon the chicken was finished. Look, she made little shorts for the chicken. Do chickens wear shorts? I don't think so. Amelia Bedelia heard the door open. Oh, the folks are back, she said. She rushed out to meet them. Amelia Bedelia, why are all the light bulbs outside? Asked Mr. Rogers. Well, the list just said to put the lights out, said Amelia Bedelia. It didn't say to bring them back in. Oh, I do hope they didn't get aired too long. There she is taking them out. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia, the sun will fade the furniture. Max was right. I asked you to draw the drapes, said Mrs. Rogers. I did, I did, said Amelia Bedelia, and she held up her picture. Oh, that was not what they wanted, was it? Then Mrs. Rogers saw the furniture. The furniture, she cried. Uh, did I dust it well enough? Asked Amelia Bedelia. It's such a nice dusting powder. Mr. Rogers went to wash his hands. I say, he called, these are very unusual towels. Look at what she did to the towels. Do you remember? Mrs. Rogers dashed into the bathroom. Oh, my best towels, she said. Didn't I change them enough? Asked Amelia Bedelia. Look how Amelia feels. She's feeling really happy like she did a great job working today. 
But Mrs. Rogers isn't feeling the same way, is she? <laughs> Her towels are ruined. Uh, was the meat delivered? Asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I trimmed the fat just like you said. It does look nice. Look at that. She put decorations all around the fat out of the meat. <laughs> Mrs. Rogers rushed to the ice box and she opened it. Lace? Ribbons? Oh dear, said Mrs. Rogers. Uh, the chicken? Did you dress the chicken? Asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, I found the nicest box to put him in, said Amelia Bedelia. Box? exclaimed Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried over to the box. She lifted the lid and there lay the chicken. <laughs> and he was just as dressed as he could be, all the way down to matching socks. <laughs> Do you think Amelia Bedelia is still gonna have a job? Mrs. Rogers was angry. She was very angry. She opened her mouth. Mrs. Rogers meant to tell Amelia Bedelia that she was fired. But before she could get the words out, Mr. Rogers put something in her mouth. Pop. It was so good. Mrs. Rogers forgot about being angry. Lemon meringue pie, she exclaimed. I made it to surprise you said Amelia Bedelia happily. That looks like yummy pie. See the yellow for the lemon? And on the top, it's kind of like a marshmallow meringue. So yummy. So right then and there, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers decided that Amelia Bedelia must stay. And so she did. Mrs. Rogers learned how to say, undust the furniture, unlight the lights, close the drapes, and things like that. Mr. Rogers didn't care if Amelia Bedelia trimmed all of his steaks with lace. All he cared about was having her there to make lemon meringue pie. Isn't that a funny story? It's one of my favorites. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.